that is joining the crew at the Geek Tank. At the Geek Tank. The Rocky Mountain Geek Tank. Troy with Rocky Mountain Geek Tank here at Mile High Con with Kaya and Phil Folio. Hey. Hello. Amazing artist, amazing books, amazing work. I love it all. Thank you so much for what you've contributed to the world and to the entertainment. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice to be here. So part of uh, Rocky Mountain Geek Tank is all about geekdom and just bringing all different kinds of loves and passions for the different aspects of geekdom together. <laughs> what, what is your favorite geekdom to get into? What do you geek out about? Oh, my goodness. Um, well, I read a lot, and I play a lot of World of Warcraft, and, uh, and presumably I work a lot on our own stuff, so that's, that's kind of where my life is right now. True. You. Um, I enjoy web comics. There's some amazing stuff out there. Uh, Shannon Garrity, Skin Horse, uh, uh, Gunner Krig Court, uh, Schlock Mercenary. These are fabulous comics out there. You know, years worth of archives, and it's all free. All you have to do is put down a couple of thousand dollars for a computer. I bet that's free, man. Come on. That's right. Or if you, if you don't mind reading on something small, a couple hundred for a little handheld computer called a phone. Yeah. So, oh, I have my producer coming over here now. Did you scroll to the one you wanted? Oh, our producer, who also does artwork, would like to know, do you use a tablet to, or digitizer to draw GG? No, as a matter of fact, uh, I still draw the old-fashioned way, which is uh, with pencil on uh, Strathmore two-ply Bristol board, uh, because uh, I'm old, and I figure it would take me at least a month to learn how to use the tablet, and at my age, who's got a month to spare? And uh, unlike many of my contemporaries, you know, if there's a solar flare, my entire output will not be wiped out. So, you know, but we'll be able to like sit in the basement and burn them for warmth. So we're good. Nice. Are you still doing the art, or are you mainly doing the writing? I don't if do I remember a lot correctly. Of art anymore. Uh, I I used to do a lot of art. I did work for Magic the Gathering back in the very early days of Magic the Gathering. Uh, but I don't do a lot of artwork anymore. And that's fine. Your writing is excellent. Oh, so. thank you. <laughs> and uh, for those of those that are unenlightened out there, GG is for girl genius. I, I realize I just use the abbreviation without specifying. They know what it is. And uh, also our artist-producer guy would like to know, how long does it take to produce one page of Girl Genius? Mm. Mm. I'd say about a day. Well, a day for you. Phil draws the, the page, and he'll usually do about one a day. After that, I need to take it, and I scan that page. Uh, Phil does a little cleanup in Photoshop. Then I send a copy of it to Cheyenne Wright, who is our digital painter. He makes it all beautiful with, um, with all kinds of color. And he does that on the computer in Photoshop. And meanwhile, while he's doing that, I've taken a black and white copy of the scan, made it the right size for the comic book page, and I've dropped it into Adobe Illustrator where I actually letter it. And then uh, once Cheyenne gets me the colored page, I drop that into my Illustrator document instead of the black and white page. And then I have to run it through some, some little hoops to make it ready to go on the Internet. Uh, I also, at that point, make a page page for, for printing, you know, a higher resolution, nice page for printing the books, because whenever we have enough pages of Girl Genius, what we do is we collect it all into a book, and if I find that if every day I do a page and make it ready for the book, when it's time to actually publish that book, I have a lot less work ahead of me. So that takes, I'd say, maybe about a day and a half for everybody to do all their work together. Yeah. That, that's actually, for as much as you, the quality and what you produce, that's fast, in my opinion. But I don't really draw, so. I've uh, been doing this for a long time. And then, I uh, guess for my last question here, I'd like to ask, what sources do you draw from for your sense of humor? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Like, what's, what, what kind of inspiration? What, what, you mean, or, or, what, or, or, 
Yeah. Something that might you have, uh, when you were younger, that helped define your own sense of humor. Mm. Um, I just made my children read the uh, collected Charles Adams cartoons, and uh, yeah. my son thought it was very funny. My daughter looked at me very strangely, but she's 11, and some of them had to be explained to her. True. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, gosh, I was very influenced by Dr. Seuss in many ways. Um, and uh, Warner Brothers cartoons, the classics. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Now, one thing that I did want, you said you had a book coming out? A new book? Yes. Why, yes. We have Girl Genius Prose Books. Yeah, uh, we've written three novels so far. Yep. Uh, the third one, um, Agatha, H- Agatha H. and the Voice of the Castle is coming out from Skyhorse, and it's due to hit uh, November 11th. Yeah. And now, so it, it often confuses people because, yes, we have to date 13 graphic novels out of the Girl Genius comic, and then the prose novels, yeah, they're, they're novels. They're the kind of novel you get at the, at the library, um, you know, chapter books. Um, they're ah, non graphic novels. They have no pictures yes. in them. Right. No. <laughs> so it's two different things. Yeah. All right, awesome. And we'll be sure to put the information up for you on that so fans and people can check it out. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Come down to Adventurer's Quarters. It's so cool. Ty fight the urge to come in. He walked right in, and he practically died from all the amazing cool stuff. Sooner or later, you should come check it out, because it is magical. You've been watching Geek Tank. If you did, you can help support the show by going to patreon.com forward slash geek take.